There it is. There it is. Oh, come on. Come on. Where does it look like a fish will be sitting? Mother. You got to bring out the world's smallest fishing rod. Today I'm fishing with the world's smallest fishing rod, but if you ask me, it's a little above average. Just a reminder that CEO Fishing is brought to you by the Real Hooker Bait and Tackle, Nines Optics, and Vector Hooks. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. I'm not a pro fisherman. I'm not the best fisherman. I'm not the worst fisherman. But I am someone who absolutely loves fishing and being outside, on the boat, in the woods, wherever it may be. That's me. And if you like that stuff, you know, welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy it. You know, you may learn some stuff here, learn some stuff from me. You may see me learning stuff on different episodes that I never knew because I'm going to be tackling different species of fish, doing different styles of fishing that I've never done before, traveling to different locations that I've never been to wet some lines and meet new people. So it's all about community and uh, the love of the outdoors. So if that's what you guys are into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, turn on your notification bells right now and give this video a thumbs up because it always helps me uh, get boosted in the algorithm so I can generate more views for the channel and, and continue to grow. So uh, if that's what you guys are about and you're about what I'm about, then uh, I know you're about to hit that subscribe button now. I appreciate you. Enjoy the episode. I would say if you know where I'm located, that if you're coming here, make sure you have like a brownish beige lure, something that mimics the Mayans or a very small peacock bass. The peacock bass are targeting peacock bass and the large mouths are targeting peacock bass and smaller bait fish, but everything is like that beige sandy color, like a little darker than like a, your typical bone color. So if you have a lure like that, I'd say try. Oh, I ran into a tree. How? I guess I should look where I'm going. I feel like there's some fish over here with all this vegetation, little tiny bass. Not even worth my effort. Ooh, now we're talking. Let's see. I think I just did that a little too fast for them. Maybe they want nice and slow. Let it sit there maybe. What do they want from me? What do they want from me? Got some stubborn fish today. What do y'all want to eat? What are y'all trying to eat today? Tell me. I don't want to give up in this little spot. Let's go out there. See if they want a soft plastic today. Every day is different. There it is. There it is. That's what they want. Soft plastic, baby. Oh, it's not what I wanted though. It's a pretty fish. It's a pretty fish but not the fish that I was looking for. Little Mayan cichlid. Crushed them, crushed them. The stripes and the colors on them. The blue with the orange or the black. Thump me though. Any luck? Uh, I got some Mayan. There's a bunch of large mouths, but they're not hitting either lure or anything right now. Yeah. I'm just throwing a soft plastic and a jerk bait. Uh, okay. So I don't know what they're looking for today, man. I mean, they're cruising. They're hunting the little baits on the corner right there. They're like about this big, okay. you know, from here to that. I, they're going back and forth, but I struck out. So <laughs> good luck to you, man. Well, my barber just called me to say I could uh, go get a haircut in a little bit. So I came to a canal that's around the corner from the shop and, uh, Ooh, flock of seagulls, anybody? Um, I'm gonna try and fish over here, see if I can get something uh, before I go get a haircut. Gotta get it, you know, trimmed up on the side so I look clean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, this is kind of sexy though, if you ask me. Well, here's the spot. Sometimes there is a massive, massive peacock bass just sitting in this corner along this wall. So, you know what? I only got a few minutes to fish, so we're gonna check it out. Got the chest mount so I don't miss anything. I got the Sony right here so I don't miss the, the full angle. So I'm trying to bring it all to you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell right now because you know what? If anything, it'll just help me out. I think we're ready. Let's get down here. I guess comment below how many casts you think it's gonna take. It's what we're using right now. 
It's nice too because it's shade. I don't have to be all sweaty. First cast, go. There's a lot of debris under here, branches going out. So if I let it sink too far, I will get snagged and I did not bring another lure. So let me get to know you guys a little bit. Where are you from? What type of fishing do you do the most? What's your favorite fish to catch? For me, it's snook and tarpon. We got a pretty good fishery down here. There's never a lack of fish unless the weather is just really brutal. But other than that, you know, fishing's always pretty good here. So the bite there was dead. I went to get my hair cut and after that, you know, I hit a few more spots. Honestly, I hit about eight different locations. Eight from canals to lakes to spillways, nothing. Today was a struggle, but at least I got a fish at the next spot. So I wasn't really gonna fish this today, but uh, it was driving by, I figured I might as well give it a couple casts. I like to cast across. Sometimes they'll chase me right off the rocks into the middle and hit it. So we'll see. Uh, I got some grass. Oh, I got it off, I got it off. So yeah, that's it. Oh, come on, come on. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, there we go. Right there, guys, a little peacock bass, a little artificial. Guess it was a good idea to stop here. Here, go back, buddy. Little guy, grow to get bigger. Oh, look at that, tore up my lure though. See if I can finesse another fish with it. So yeah, I like to just cast across, work it back towards the shoreline. Sometimes parallel, but it's all this muck. It, I can't really go parallel right now. Ooh, tore me up. Hey, it's time to get a new lure. What do y'all do when it's a slow bite? Just keep fishing? Because honestly, I still think a slow bite is better than not fishing at all. Where does it look like a fish will be sitting? Part of my French. Ooh. And I just smacked myself with the. Probably caught that on camera. With the lure. Forgot it was in the water. When it's a super slow day, you know what? You gotta bring out the world's smallest fishing rod to try and entertain yourself. So, got a small little hook on here. And we're gonna do this cast the hook up for all the haters out there that, you know, just say, it's fake or we're fishing in an aquarium. You can literally see all the fish in the water. So let me bait this up real quick and we're gonna catch a fish with the world's smallest fishing rod. I think I need a better piece of bread because this one's a little big, but I'm reeling up right now. Get out of here, get. Ducks always messing things up. They make it so hard to film sometimes. Stupid ducks. Yes, the ducks mess everything up. We don't like the ducks. They're invasive and they're annoying. Oh, 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 there's a big one, there's a big one. Oh, he ripped me. No, yep, got, oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, he missed it. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, eat it. Ah, oh, ah, oh. oh, he came off, he came off. Oh, he came off. All right, I'm baited up again. And I see a bunch of the fish here. You guys can see them in the water. I think you can. And they don't spook when I step in here. So there's one fish right there. You know what? That's why I feel weird. I'm used to reeling with my other hand. Got this backwards. All right. We're going to cast this out right here. Let's see if we can get that angle good. Ooh, he stole it. He stole it from that one. No, no, big one, big fish, big fish. We want the big one. No, big fish, not you. No, the little one keeps taking it. Big fish, got him. Oh. Got him, got him. Oh, I got a fish. Oh, yeah, I got him, I got him, I got him. I'm trying to reel, I'm trying to reel. Ah, oh, got him, I got him, I got him, got him. There it is, guys. That's how you make a slow day fun. World's smallest fishing rod. If you like this video and you like what I'm doing on the channel, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. But 
Until next time, guys, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.